Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. And I'm John. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural guide to the phenomenon that was Miami Vice. This week we're talking about Season 3, Episode 17, titled The Afternoon Plane. Or as I call it, The Afternoon Nap. Which is pretty much what happened today when I watched this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it originally premiered on February 20th, 1987. It is written and directed by David Jackson. Now, we're familiar with David Jackson. He directed French Twist. He directed and wrote Stone's War, and he also directed Walk Alone, which actually, mostly, you were saying, this episode has a lot of parallels with Walk Alone. It's all tubs. He's got a thing for tubs. (laughs) And he's by himself. He's got no backup. True. Yeah, no backup. Well, he had... Wait wait a minute. You called Marty no backup? (laughs) He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. (laughs) Yeah, but no, but it's all centered around tubs. You you know, I'm surprised you didn't say that he directed The Great McCarthy, I would have thought. (laughs) Yeah, with the connection there, maybe, you know. So, or, or uh, maybe an episode of Fantasy Island, because this episode to me kind of felt like Tubbs was like guest appearing on an episode of Fantasy Island. The planes, the planes. Uh, <laughs> that's all you know from that show. Huh? That is, that's all that I know. Yes. And I'm, I'm okay to admit that. I'm okay. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> All right, John, normally we get an amazing music selection in the episode. And you always give us this deep rundown on the fantastic 80s bands and the legends from the 60s and 70s that end up in an episode of Miami Vice. But this week, it's something quite different. We get one song by <laughs> by Laws N- uh, Neto. Um, yeah, he's a professional <laughs> musician and songwriter. He's actually been around since the 70s. Work he did with, uh, actually with Ben King and the Drifters before he'd eventually do two albums. I guess one bonus is that he's had songs covered by like Shaka Khan and Joe Walsh and Rick James. I mean, that's an accomplishment. (laughs) He's also recorded on 35 different albums. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's a (laughs) lot of freaking albums. Yeah, he stays busy. He stays busy. Stays busy. At 17, he was playing guitar on tour with Benny King. Benny King's famous for the song Stand By Me, as well as a number of other hits. He would then leave and join a band called Moon. And they would be signed by CBS Records. They would do two albums. They would be semi-popular. And then Moon would break up and he would become the house guitarist for Imagination Records. He would leave that job after being recruited by former Moon drummer Luigi Salvoni to form a new band called Sniff in the Tears. Yes, Sniff in the Tears. (laughs) So the band itself was inspired by old demos from uh, Moon. They would also release two albums, but during touring of the second album, Laws would break his arm after a motorbike accident. All these musicians seem to have reasons why they're losing money and not going on tour because they hurt themselves riding some sort of motorized vehicle. Car accidents, motorcycle accidents. Yeah, so just FYI, if you're in a band, don't get a motorcycle. It's not cool. (laughs) Couldn't play for six months. We spent that time writing songs, which would inspire him to go out and start his solo career. His first album in 86, critically acclaimed, actually. So in 87, looking to his third album, he decided he wanted to build a record studio at his house to record the album. He started going around to record companies, and they all told him, you're crazy. We're not going to pay for you to put a studio in your house. Like, that's nuts. Who do you think you are, Robert Plant? Eventually, he would find someone. That someone being Gene Simmons from Kiss. Turns out, RCA would would be financing Gene Simmons to fund his uh, to fund his own label. He would agree to pay for the studio and make the next album with Laws. And what's great is at this point I am reading from a biography written by Laws Neto himself. <laughs> it might be a, a little skewed in his his way, but this is my, one of my favorite things in this whole article is he talks about how he didn't realize how difficult construction can be. And after many delays and eight months and three contractors later, he had a studio. 
where he decided where he recorded an album he would have to remix and then remix the remixes and then remix the remixes and it would never get released rca bgm would pull gene's money in 1990 that was kind of the end of his solo career <laughs> he would open his studio to other uh other artists and actually record a little bit himself until his wife would leave him and take his kid which would send him spiraling he would take a two-year break from music actually turned into a 10-year drought so then he started basically got a fresh start as a tv and movie composer according to this biography that he wrote he is still composing he is still touring and releasing music Right? Well, Google found me one Lawrence T. Netto, a hypnotherapist and NLP (laughs) practitioner in Brighton, England, who looks suspiciously a lot like Laws Netto, like almost to the T. And it turns out for 65 pounds for the first hour and a half, you can get hypnotherapy, and then it's only 60 pounds for each additional hour. So. There's your music. John, I totally thought you said hippotherapy. So at the first I was like, what the hell is hippotherapy? The twists and turns of the music segment. (laughs) From being 17 years old and on tour to ending in hypnotherapy. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Go With The Heat. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Vice. I know that we're kind of hard on it. You know, it's it's boring. We're not hiding that. It's just kind (laughs) of slow. Well, we're okay with that because you know why? We know that we love Tubbs exclusive. That's going to do it for us this week. Be sure to check out the website, GoWithTheHeat.com. You can go find the links to this show, our YouTube channel, our TuneIn, anywhere that you can listen to the show, iTunes, Google Play, you can find all the links to that. You can also find our exclusive feeds. If you want just This Week in Vice or just the music segment in its own standalone feed, you can go to the website go with the com. You can get all the information on how to subscribe. You can also find the ways to contact us. We would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this episode? What are your thoughts on getting hypnotherapy from Laws Netto? Email us, go with the heat at gmail.com or tweet at us at go with the heat. That's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see y'all next time. Bye, pal. <laughs> <laughs>